All right, this is a quick review, and it's uh, more inequalities and basically word problems. So uh, they're not always quick, but I'll try to do it as quickly as I can for a quick review. All right, find the greatest three consecutive even numbers where four less than the sum of twice the first and twice the third is at most 30 more than three times the second. All right, sounds insurmountable, but it's not. Let's start with NTV. Let's name our variables. You get the first number, second, and third. All right, you always want to call your first number N. So remember, we have consecutive even numbers, right? So if I said to you 6, you would say the next even number would be 8, right? How did you get from 6 to 8? You added 2. You always get to the second number by adding 2. You know, if I said um, 42, you would say 44. Okay, how would you get to the third number? 42, 44, and then you would add 2 to the second, right? So n plus 2 plus 2 is n plus 4, always. Consecutive odd, consecutive even are always n, n plus 2, n plus 4. If we had another one, it would be n plus 6, fourth one, fifth one, n plus 8, etc. Okay, I like to do my symbol next. So if you go back and read the problem, we have is at most. All right, so what symbol to use for is at most? We'll just come up with a simple sentence that you can figure it out with. For example, Bob is at most 30 years old. Well, everybody knows if we're saying he's at most 30, then he's got to be 30 or less, right? Which is a less than or equal to 30 or less, right? Okay, that's our symbol. Now let's take a look at the left-hand side. And the first thing I see here is where four less just be careful. You have to subtract 4 to get 4 less. Okay, 4 less than what? The sum, we all know that's addition, and what are we adding? What are we summing up? It says twice the first. All right, so you have to multiply the first by 2. What is our first number? Look at your NTV, and it's N. All right, so there's twice the first, and it goes on, and twice the third. All right, so 2 times what? What's our third? Look in our chart. And plus 4, you're going to need a parenthesis there because it has to be twice. The whole thing is the third, the n plus 4. Okay, left side. Good. Let's do the right side. It is 30 more. All right, 30 more is plus 30, or you can do 30 and then plus whatever. 30 more than what? 3 times. So we're going to have to multiply 3 times the second. What is the second? n plus 2. Okay, there we are. Got our inequality. Now we've got to solve it. All right, we're going to have some distributing. 2n plus 2 times n is another 2n plus 8 minus 4 less than or equal to 3n plus 6 plus 30. Okay, let's go ahead and get all our n's on the same side. So I'll add a negative 3n to both sides all of this together, right? 2 and 2 is 4 minus 3 leaves you an n. Adding up our 8 and 4, we get a positive 4. Let's add a negative 4 to both sides. And that will leave us then a 2 plus 30 or 32. And that's one of our answers. n has to be less than or equal to 32. Well, one of the greatest numbers. See, n could be 2 n could be 4, n could be 8, and it'll fit the criteria, but we want the greatest numbers. So n is going to be 32. What's the second number? 2 more, 34. And what's the third? 2 more, 36. Those are the three largest or greatest consecutive even numbers that fit the criteria. Hey, that's the idea.